For centuries, they were worlds apart. One, a fierce seafaring people from the frozen edges of the north, ruthless, unstoppable, feared across Europe. The other, an ancient land of temples, dynasties, and a civilization so old its roots disappear into myth. Vikings and India. Two names that should never belong in the same sentence. And yet, something never quite added up. Scattered traces, forgotten artifacts, strange words, unusual burial styles, hinted at a connection far older than the history books dared suggest. But no one could prove it. Until now. In a frozen Norwegian grave, an ancient skeleton was exhumed. At first glance, just another warrior from the Viking Age. But buried deep in his DNA was something that shouldn't be there. A genetic signature. Unmistakably South Asian. The question exploded. How could Indian genes end up in a Viking body? Was there a hidden migration? A lost alliance? Or an ancient voyage across oceans never documented in any chronicle? One discovery would change everything. The Viking Age spanned from the late 8th century to the early 11th century, a time when Norse warriors surged out of Scandinavia to raid, trade, and settle across Europe and beyond. Their longships reached as far as North Africa, the Middle East, even North America, but India. It was never considered part of the Viking world. Historians long believed the Indian subcontinent and Viking Scandinavia evolved in complete isolation from one another, separated by thousands of kilometers and vast cultural divides. Yet anomalies kept surfacing. In the coastal town of Lothal, India, an ancient Harappan port, strangely Norse-like carvings were discovered. In Sweden, beads of carnelian, a semi-precious stone found mainly in Gujarat, turned up in Viking burial mounds. Some dismissed them as rare trade items, others whispered of a deeper link. And then there were the linguistic oddities, Old Norse words bearing eerie resemblance to ancient Dravidian roots. Too few to draw conclusions, too many to ignore. The mystery grew. Could these be remnants of an ancient exchange between two civilizations, history never recorded? Or was something far bigger, something transformative, being overlooked? What secret history had the genes uncovered? It started in a windswept fjord in western Norway. Archaeologists were excavating a forgotten burial site near a Viking-era settlement. The grave was old, over 1,000 years, and sealed in layers of permafrost. Inside, the remains of a man in his mid-thirties, buried with his sword, shield, and a pendant etched with runes. Nothing seemed unusual until the DNA analysis began. Initial tests confirmed what was expected, strong Scandinavian lineage. But then came a shock. Within the mitochondrial DNA, passed down through the maternal line, was a sequence never before seen in any Viking remains. It matched no known Norse haplogroup. Cross-referenced against global genomic databases, the closest match came from an unexpected place a tribal population in southern India. Scientists ran the test again. Same result. The odds of contamination? Near zero. This was authentic. This Viking warrior had an Indian maternal ancestor. Was she a slave? A traveler? Or something else entirely? The discovery lit a fire in the archaeological world. If this one grave held such a secret, how many others had been missed? A single anomaly could be coincidence, but if there were more... The hunt was on. The team expanded fast. Geneticists, linguists, historians, and maritime archaeologists from six countries. The Norwegian grave was only the beginning. Universities across Europe began reanalyzing old Viking burial samples using next-generation sequencing and the results were astonishing.
Multiple graves, scattered from Denmark to Iceland, revealed the same anomaly. Fragments of South Asian DNA embedded within Viking lineages. Not dominant, but persistent. Enough to raise serious questions. Meanwhile, in India, scholars reopened ancient maritime records. Tamil inscriptions from as early as the 1st century CE spoke of oceanic trade routes extending westward, far beyond the Arabian Sea. Dravidian sailors had reached Mesopotamia. Could they have gone even farther? But there was resistance. Critics argued the genetic matches were the result of later admixture, or that the Indian DNA came from slaves acquired during Viking raids in the east. Yet timelines didn't add up. Some graves predated Viking contact with the Islamic world entirely. Then came the linguistic clues. Words in Old Norse for ship, market, and even spice bore phonetic resemblance to Tamil and Canada terms. Were they borrowed? Or were they inherited from a forgotten shared past? The deeper they dug, the more the old narrative unraveled. Could history have buried an ancient voyage that defied geography and time? The breakthrough came from an unlikely source, a fragment of tooth enamel from a Viking child buried in Reeb, Denmark. Using stable isotope analysis, researchers determined the child had spent early childhood in a tropical, non-European climate. Not only that, the strontium levels matched geological signatures found along India's Malabar coast. This wasn't trade. This was migration. To confirm it, scientists turned to whole genome sequencing. The child's genome revealed a perfect genetic blend. One Scandinavian parent and one South Indian. The evidence was undeniable. This was not the result of conquest, slavery, or isolated travel. It was the result of something more intimate. Family. How could this have happened? The answer may lie in the monsoon winds. Maritime historians reconstructed trade routes that showed seasonal wind patterns could carry ships from western India to the Persian Gulf, and then, via riverways and overland paths, into the Black Sea and beyond. Indian sailors had the knowledge, and the ships, and the Vikings. They had a hunger for new lands, spices, and power. Geneticists, comparing hundreds of ancient genomes, now estimate that at least zero, two percent of Viking-age Scandinavian DNA carries markers linked to South Asia, a small but persistent echo of a forgotten connection. This wasn't just a footnote. It was the rediscovery of a missing chapter in human history. Picture it. The year is 750 CE. Along the sun-drenched coast of southern India, a group of seasoned Tamil sailors prepares their catamaran-style ships for the monsoon winds. Their destination? the rich trading hubs of the Arabian Peninsula, and beyond. Among their crew, merchants, navigators, and a few families seeking fortune in foreign lands. Weeks later, those same ships arrive in Basra. But something unexpected unfolds. Norse traders, already navigating early routes through the Volga and Caspian networks, encounter these Indian mariners. Mutual curiosity sparks. Goods are exchanged, ivory, spices, amber. But more than trade happens. Over years, perhaps decades, a silent migration begins. Indian sailors and their families, through a chain of land and river routes, find their way north. Some settle in early Slavic regions. Others are absorbed into Viking communities, forming bonds, intermarrying, and leaving traces of their heritage buried in frozen soil and bone. Imagine a Dravidian woman lighting oil lamps in a timber longhouse in Denmark, her children speaking both languages, her spices mingling with Viking stews, her gods perhaps merging with the Norse pantheon in subtle, forgotten ways. This wasn't conquest. It was convergence, a meeting of worlds, 
lost in the silence of time, until DNA brought their voices back, the Viking and the Indian, a union that rewrote what we thought we knew. For centuries, the histories of India and the Vikings flowed in separate rivers, never meant to meet. But the bones told another story. Beneath layers of myth, conquest, and time, a quiet truth survived in blood. A truth that rewrote maps, shattered timelines, and proved that human connection can cross even the wildest seas. This wasn't just a genetic coincidence. It was a buried alliance, a forgotten migration, a story so ancient no book had dared to tell it. Today, scientists continue to uncover these invisible bridges between civilizations. With every grave opened, every genome mapped, we come closer to understanding just how interconnected our world truly was, even in the so-called Dark Ages. What other secrets lie beneath our feet? How many ancient links remain hidden, waiting to be found? The Viking Age was never just Norse, and the Indian legacy far greater than we ever imagined. History isn't what we think it is. It's what we've yet to discover. If this blew your mind, don't forget to like, subscribe, and dive into our other investigations. More buried truths, ancient mysteries, and scientific shocks await you. Right here on Discovery Future.